I came this close to drowning. Good morning or good afternoon everyone. Welcome if you're new here, my name is Polly. Today we'll be going underwater to look for some gold nuggets in a river that doesn't normally let me down. I have a goal today to at least hit two grams of gold. So if I don't hit that, then I'll eat a bag of cream corn. I don't know. So let's put on our wetsuit and have fun. So this doesn't normally happen, but I just got in the water without having my camera on. I tried out a crack and I found two nice pieces of gold right away. Check this out. I have Bryce joining me today. I'm trying to get him to find his first nugget. I worked on this crack till I couldn't reach with my arms, so I resorted to using my leg arms, which is actually how I found my biggest nugget. Now, doing this is most effective if you loosen the rock first. I found this jagged spot where I noticed the small gold was actually pretty consistent. I know these pieces of gold are relatively small, but as they always say, it all adds up. And it's often these thin cracks that hide most of the gold. Since Bryson couldn't stay here the entire day, I decided to go check up on him before I had my first break. How you doing, man? Shut up. So Bryson just found his first nugget, but we don't really know how big it is, so it might just be a picker, but it still looks pretty big. Oh, 
Oh, not bad. I don't know the weight, but still kind of nice. Half, point three to point five, I guess. Cool. Where'd I go? Thanks, buddy. All right. So having a quick little break here. Gonna have something to eat and warm up just a little bit. So we are finding gold. In fact, we're finding more gold than I thought we would find today. But I don't know if we're gonna hit that two gram mark or not, but I think we're getting pretty close. So this is the gold that we're looking at so far. It looks like it's gonna be around two grams now that I look at it and see this nice nugget we found here, but I'm not quite sure. But the day isn't over yet. Good and bad news. The bad news is I'm pretty sure I finished digging out all the cracks that I'm able to reach. I'm too buoyant so I can't go down deeper. The good news is I brought a scuba tank for that exact reason. So let's get suited up again and go deeper. I was not expecting what was about to happen. I swam around for a bit underneath the current like I always do, just searching for a good place to work. Nothing really stood out other than this crevice that seemed to be going under a pile of gravel. I managed to spot a piece of gold that could have been my last. It's not very often I take things seriously. And I've dove a hundred times before, so what could possibly go wrong? On this morning, my complacency and my hurry to make a video almost killed me. When I was underwater, approximately 10 feet deep, not even that deep, I lost my regulator. Now, what that is, is what you breathe out of. And typically, when this happens, it's happened to me before, is you lean to the right and you go and you grab your regulator and you breathe again. Or you grab your spare regulator that's bright yellow and you can breathe from that. Or you can press this button, your buoyancy control device will inflate and you float to the surface, or you pull this cord and you float to the surface, or even you pull out your weights and you float to the surface. For some reason, when I lost that regulator, I completely panicked. My first instinct was just to get out. And when I tried to get out, I was weighted down by 45 pounds of extra weight. I was pushed down by the current because I'm laying below the current. I, I didn't know what to do. I started panicking and I'm, I'm starting to scream. I'm starting to go, but nothing's happening. I just remember trying to, tr trying to run. I was making a little bit of movement. I was panicking. I was screaming. I didn't know what to do. I was, there is no way to explain what goes through your mind in those last few seconds. I was apologizing to my mom, I was apologizing to my sisters, my brothers. I remember the very first moment I made some movement and that was also when I took my first breath of water. As bad as it burned and as bad as I was screaming and just trying to get out, I was coming to terms that I knew I was gonna die. On my final attempt, I remember kicking with both feet. I was able to jump just on the one little ledge I was able to find, and that was just a smooth bedrock bowl, and I managed to cup the edge of my fingers, probably half of my hand, on this thing, and I was able just to get up and then roll onto it, pull my off, puke. God, it was the most intense, high, exhilarating. When I got out of the water, I didn't think of taking any of my gear off. I just laid against the bedrock. Half out of the water. Holy f holy f I can't believe how that, how, why that happened. I blah, 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 just, just star struck. I managed to get all my gear off and I just start crying. I start crying like a freaking baby. And then I picked up my phone and just started recording. Holy cow. I, I wouldn't normally post this kind of stuff, but I just figure I'll let everyone know. I came this close 
to drowning. Never dive alone. It's probably the last time I'm gonna be diving. I lost my mask, my, my regulator, sorry. I couldn't breathe, I panicked. I swallowed and inhaled water. I was screaming, screaming, trying to fight to, to run to the edge so I can get out of the water. I was fully weighted. I, I couldn't even inflate my BCD to float to the surface. I could not think. I finally got myself out of the water. I threw up. Don't scuba dive alone, guys. After that, I got changed, packed up, hiked out, drove home. You never think that you're going to die. You, people die around you, people get hurt around you, and you're like, that won't happen to me. Mother nature, physics, gravity, water in your lungs, they don't give a who you are. You're just a piece of sand in the, on the beach. You guys deserve 100% of me and I'm giving you 100% of me. Now, this wouldn't be a poly video if I didn't show you the gold, so let's see if we hit two grams. So this is my total take for the snipe. It looks the same as on our break, except for this piece of gold that, yeah. I'll either destroy it or frame it. Let me know in the comments. And then there's this guy, our biggest piece of the day. So I'm gonna do this outside because why not? For our first nugget, I'm gonna guess, uh, I don't know, 0.5 grams? 0.56 grams, oh, I was actually pretty close. Our second little nugget, or picker, whatever you wanna call it, 0.2, 0.25. All together, bam, oh. 0.81, and of course, our little guys. Eight grams. Nope. 1.3 grams. We didn't hit our two gram mark, but you know what? We're alive. So 1.3 grams of gold isn't bad for underwater sniping. Now, I wouldn't risk my life for it again, but it isn't bad. If you enjoyed this video and want me to stick around to make more videos, please let me know by clicking that like button, checking out my other social media platforms, or even checking out my merchandise store. I wanna say thank you so much for your support. The flood of messages I've been receiving over my Facebook posts about it has been truly overwhelming. I could not be doing what I'm doing without your support. Thank you for watching. Until the next one, Black Screen with Logo. Don't scuba dive alone, guys.